Hey, what's up guys? It's Flex and welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be changing out the trim bezel on the steering wheel on my wife's Mercedes C300. Yes, I could change it out for a carbon fiber one or a gloss black one or remove it to vinyl wrap it. But the reason that I'm changing it is because of a common issue that's found in a lot of Mercedes C-Class, which can get very dangerous. So here's the common issue with the Mercedes C-Class trim bezel. After a while, it starts to kind of like bubble up, like you can see here. And I've seen some that are really bad that even bubbles up right here that when you go to push the button, the edge actually kind of slices into your finger. Like this is not too bad, but this one right here, it, it's sharp and that's really dangerous. So the only way around of repairing that is to replace the actual bezel itself. So here is the replacement trim bezel I got online. It's brand new, there's no lifting, there's no flaking. Everything is nice and smooth. Let's go ahead and install this on my wife's car. So to get to the trim bezel, I'm gonna have to remove the airbag. But before I can do that, I have to make sure my car's battery is disconnected. I don't want this blowing up in my face. Now to remove the airbag, I'm gonna use a screwdriver. And there's a hole right there behind your steering wheel on this side and also on the other side. And I'm gonna stick this screwdriver in and I'm gonna push on a lever that's gonna release the airbag. You see right there, it's released. Do it for the other side. There it goes. So now I can take it out from that yellow connector. Now there's four torque screws I need to remove. One here, one here, that will release the top. And then there's one behind here and one behind here. You access it from the other side. Now I need to remove the two connectors that are going to the buttons. There's actually a, a little hole up top that I can push down with a screwdriver and it will release it and I could slide it right off. Now with the trim bezel removed, I can go ahead and remove the buttons and transfer them to the new trim bezel. They're just held on by one, two, three torque screws. One, two, three torque screws. And this is a good time to change these buttons with new ones if it was kind of worn out, but these are perfectly fine, so I'm just gonna swap them right over. Now I'm just gonna install the buttons onto the new trim bezel and reverse install and I should be good to go. Well, there you have it. I hope you guys liked the video. If you do, hit like below. As always, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.